Hey guys, today I'm going to explain why your net generation on your utility bill doesn't match with your inverter from your panels and your inverter software. So that uh, tutorial is coming up. So here's an example of one of my utility bills. And if we look at it, it says net generation is negative uh, 655 kilowatt hours. So basically it's saying that I generated 655 kilowatt hours for the month. And so if we take a look at my uh, inverter production from Enphase, so the time frame is 428 to 526 here, and I've got it by day, so I'll show you the uh, picture of the bottom. So if we look at the bottom here, it says I generated 904 kilowatt hours of energy. So that obviously doesn't match 655. And so if we uh, also look at the consumption, so here, this is a little sheet that I made up uh, just to track my own uh, usage because I don't have the CTs, the current transformers that basically give you all that information from Enphase. So that same time frame, it says I use 476 kilowatt hours of energy. And if we look at what pg and &E is telling me, it's saying I use 227 kilowatt hours of energy. Obviously those don't tie, and I know that this is correct. Um, because it's basically backing out from my production and what pg &E is telling me my overages per day. So the reason why it's saying this like this, where basically it says I produce 655 when, when in reality I produce 900 kilowatt hours and my consumption is 227 when in reality it's 476 is a term called load. So basically what load is, is you using energy during the day. So you know, have your lights on, you have your computer on. For me, a big one would be AC and or the EV that we have when we're charging. And so basically, I know that these numbers don't reflect the total because I charge during the day. And so basically, what that means is, since I'm charging during the day, the energy that's going into my car is coming straight from the panels because uh, the sun is out during the day. So the sun, so the panels absorb the sun that energy goes through my house and then directly into my car. So basically pg and &E is totally cut out of that equation and that's called load. And so basically because I have a lot of load during the day because I'm charging the car or AC is on during the day, it, it doesn't even go to uh, pg and &E's numbers. Like they don't see that energy at all. So that's why my net generation is only showing 655 for pg and &E because that's what actually went from the panels to the grid and then 227 is what came back from the grid to my house that I needed. So this would be like, you know, overnight charging if I was doing that or whatever. We had the AC on at nine o'clock or something. So that would be that consumption here. And so basically that is why your utility bill is not going to match what you what your production from Enphase or SolarEdge is telling you. It's because of load. So hope that video was helpful. Help, hope that explanation helped uh, just help you understand why it's not going to match. It's never going to match because of load. So I uh, hope it was helpful and thanks for watching.